Hey guys, today is Monday. Um, I haven't been well. Um, I'm sort of glad that I'm off work this week because I'm not well. I would rather be out in the snow. <laughs> And I haven't actually been out in it today. I'm just currently looking out the window because it's currently, I think, snowing at the moment. But yeah, um, I haven't been well today because, hence the hot water bottle, hence me eating comfy clothes. I'm currently having a flare up of my endometriosis and it's not great. So I thought I would film this this week. Um, this is getting uploaded on my Endo Waddles channel and my Wadflake channel. So this is going across to two of my YouTube platforms so I can show a bit more awareness. I know next month is Endometriosis Awareness Month, but I thought I'll try and do a weekly video today in telling you how I feel this week. Um, this started yesterday. Um, currently, I'm going to get my um, tablets tomorrow, so I'm getting put on some, um, uh, what do you call it, antibiotics, because I've currently got a water infection. And it's the fact with a water infection, yeah, it always occurs with my endometriosis, whenever flare-up always end up getting a water infection. Sometimes the tablets don't work and it's the fact that when the tablets don't work you always end up still with your water infection but like the markers on a um, dipstick might disappear and this is what happened last time before I got diagnosed with endometriosis which was about coming up well yeah coming up to a year it'll be a year in March I want to say March the 14th is when I got diagnosed with endometriosis so it's fast approaching that that has always been a year and we're still in a pandemic as well it's scary to think i'm sort of happy that i got diagnosed as and when i did i know that i feel sorry for people that haven't been diagnosed properly yet and fingers crossed you will get there eventually especially that it's still one in ten and that's that's mad to think it's one in ten get diagnosed and that some people wait like god knows how many years to get diagnosed but yeah i'm slowly getting there i've just eaten some toast i'm currently drinking cranberry juice that seems to help me a lot so i am gonna like go and tuck up in bed i've taken some paracetamol I've got the hot water bottle for my stomach or my back either or i flip between the two so i'm gonna end this week well not this week today which is monday and um i will speak to you guys tomorrow and keep you posted so peace out for now hi guys today is tuesday um sorry if you can hear the extractor fan i am currently cooking tea um i am currently cooking a favorite of ours i'm just going to switch the camera around hold on so this is like a traditional meal that I cook with my grandmother. And this is what I used to have when I was around my grandmother's. So you've got salmon, prawns, peas and sweet corn, and it's in a mushroom sauce. And then with that, excuse the mess, because this is all our clean linen that we need to sort out. And I need to get out this big bag of pasta. No, I don't. I think I should have pasta already out. Which I do. Pasta here. So I'm going to use that pasta up first, I think. Yeah, so currently cooking dinner. Sorry, big slam of the thing there. Um, so yeah, I'm currently cooking dinner, which I don't I don't mind cooking actually. Um, it's very hit and miss when it comes to me and cooking. Um, pain threshold today is a bit better. It's a tiny bit better. I'm trying to turn this down a bit. Anyway. Yeah, pain threshold is a lot better today. I did wake up with a bit of a migraine though, but I think that's to do with the like humidity in our bedroom. Our bedroom seems to get really hot at night and obviously due to snow and everything in our garden and the weather, we don't tend to have our window open at night if we're expecting like some sort of heavy forecast in rain, sleet, snow. 
um, hail. We don't tend. Sorry, that's the saucepan lid. We don't tend to have our window open. I'm just gonna put the lid on this. Hold on. Put the lid on our food. So to keep the heat in. So I'm just gonna put the lid on that. And then I'm gonna sort out putting some pasta on, I think. And go from there. So I will speak to you guys in a bit. Um yeah, I'll show you the finished result once I'm done. So peace out for now. So dinner's all done. Um, I've dished breast, breads up and put it in the microwave because I didn't want it to go cold and I didn't want the pasta to go all funny. But I'll should turn the camera around again. So this is what I've got. So I've got pa I've got two two different bits of pasta because I thought I'll try and use up the pasta, and then you got the pasta sauce and it just it goes really nicely. It's just quick, easy meal. Um, if anyone wants to know how to make this, I will leave everything um in the description box down below on how to make this so hopefully i will speak to you guys later on this evening so uh peace out for now hey guys i do apologize that i didn't film yesterday um it was quite a busy day yesterday so i do apologize that we d i didn't film and literally i came home at Unfortunately, was very ill last night and ended up throwing up my food. Not that you really wanted to know that, but I thought to point it out. And then today I've been practically bedridden. So this is what happens with endometriosis. When you just don't know what to do with yourself and you just want to just be in bed all day. And you don't want to move. Went to the doctors this morning, they upped my medication, which is my tramadol to 100 milligrams twice a day instead of 50 grams twice a day. It's just going around in circles, she said. Oh, you should be alright. You, um, Since you're now on the depot injections, you, you, your endometriosis shouldn't be... Oh, what's the word on the call? It shouldn't be like active if that makes sense i shouldn't have endometriosis anymore because i'm on the depot injection apparently i'll be very surprised if that is the reason and that i will soon get better but for now i'm i'm at my worst again at the moment she said oh i'll, I'll write to guiding for you but don't think that's gonna help you because they've done what they can yeah, thank you for that. Make me feel a lot better. So I'm just about to take some paracetamol, make myself a drink, and try and get some food inside me since I haven't really eaten a lot all day. Because I'm scared that I might chuck it back up, which is brilliant. So I am going to end today's here. I might film later, but if not, Hopefully, I will speak to you guys tomorrow if I'm in a better mood. Peace out for now. Happy Valentine's Day, everyone. Um, today, Brett and I hopefully are going to go for a walk and cook a lovely meal this evening. Um, other than that, I don't think we have really much else planned. Hopefully today I will try and upload the video, if not it will be up tomorrow on both our channels. But happy Valentine's Day everyone, I hope you have a lovely day and I will hopefully keep you posted throughout the day. If not, I will see you guys hopefully next week. So uh, peace out for now. So I've just come back from a lovely walk, um, hence the red cheeks, hence my hair's up in a bun. And I'm in a onesie. I've just had a bath with some bath salts and that has made me feel really happy after that. So I feel a bit more relaxed now for the evening. Um, I'm now going to sort out taking my antibiotics and have a chilled afternoon having my Valentine's Day meal with Brett. So for starters we've got like a like a prawn shell concoction i don't know exactly how to say it and then for 
Um, our main we've got pork shoulder with shallot potatoes and Mediterranean veg. And then for dessert we've got lemon tart. Sicilian tart I think it's called or something like that. But I can't wait to enjoy that. So I'm going to round off this week here. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment, like and share. And everything that I have mentioned in this video, I will leave a link down below or type out bits and pieces uh, to do with this episode. Um, I do apologise that, again, that I missed some days. Some days haven't uploaded properly. For example, Saturday hasn't uploaded properly because my laptop has decided that it's going to repeat another video that I did on Thursday. So it's not, <laughs> it's not going in my favour, unfortunately. So... I'm going to leave it and go from there and uh, I will try and film again next week for you properly. So um, I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. As I said, please don't forget to subscribe, comment, like and share. And I will see you guys in the next video. So uh, peace out for now.